OBR as again now. It's Hines to Candles. Hail Mary pass through center ice. Broken up. Isles trying to stay on side. Three on two wide. Going to the far side. Stepping in. Save it. Scores! Islanders! 42 seconds in! A bleeder through the pads. And it's 1 nothing. Uh, talk about setting a tone. It's Zach. Stripped a better start to the semifinals for the Islanders as they lead by a score of 1 to nothing. Robillard, that's one that uh, he really doesn't want to start out the series with that type of goal but again it is what it is he's been terrific all the way along and Budgel curbside off the left wing he'll fire an aerial inside the zone trying to get to it as Siminal he'll punch it down low wall in front scores tic tac toe and the league's top offensive defenseman Cormier finds net just like that 2 nothing within the first 235 a dream start for the Islanders is once again laying the body and hard on the four check. They don't get to the puck, Sherbrooke. And the Islanders throw it in front of Lucas Cormier, defenseman of the year. What a sneaky shot by the glove on the pad of Jacob Robillard. And the Islanders take a early 2 0 lead. Left shoulder blocker side of the goaltender, La Pena. This one is going to. He wound around the wall, back to mid-ice. Bishop, outside of his own blue line. Backs it up inside his own territory. Lifts it off the boards, gives it away. Elliott stepped in, scores! Holy shitty! Well, and Robillard knows it himself. He can't get the puck to touch him. And he knows, he's a team player, he's played well. And it's a lot of pressure on the goaltender. And Zhigalov will head in. 3-0, three, 3 minutes and 54 seconds into this first period. Wow, what a start. Ah oh, man, it couldn't get much sweeter than this if you're a fan on the island of the Charlottetown Islanders. They're up 3 now in the first five minutes. Uh, Islanders again, loading, Gay scores! Light the lamp, Pento shot! Right in the wheelhouse! A Patrick Gay, can you believe 55 and not 57. Tries to drape it around the boards. There's Budgel along the wall. And a give and go off in front. Budgel stepped and scores! Simino's third point of the period. A bacon. To Gallup, oh my goodness. And take away sticks and it shows. It shows. Eight minutes left in the first period, it's 5 nothing. Wow. You've seen it all since day one, Corey. I'm not sure there's been many opening periods in a playoff series. No, no, as, no, no. As good no, as no, this no. one. Certainly not with the Rocket, I know that. So my memory doesn't have to go back too far. Here comes Trudeau stepping back in again. Uh, looks to fire, that one blockaded. Looks to loop it around again. Into the slot, Budgel steps and scores! Budgel! A wicked rester! Stick side, and it's six nothing for the Islanders at the 316 mark. As Budgel and the Isles on the board off of Budgel's seventh goal of the playoffs. Well, just continued domination here for the Islanders. And Will Trudeau steps in from the back end and wheels around in behind the goal and sends a pass in front. And that one finds Budgel, and he snipes it on the blocker side of Ivan Jigal. Back again now, Ewart going cross dice, and eventually to the high slot, there's a shoot in front, snagged, hey, hey, what do you say? Says the goaltender La Pena, has that one right into his glove, and he snags it. And, and for Frankie La Pena, he was battling it, you know, in the later stages of the, of the regular season. Got it, found it, and is for sure, if not tonight. There's a shot, that one a winger off that, uh, a winger zinger off that left wing that goes wide of the target. Has Plandowski now. He's uh, stepped into. Here comes uh, an opportunity in front. Scores! There's a shot for on that fade by Joshua. And a nice play by the Sherbrooke Phoenix down low off that far left corner. And that one buried under the crossbar. And the Phoenix are on the board to make it six. Islanders have their third pairing out against the top line. And it gets scored on. Center and pass in front. And Perron wide open in the slot. And he shows you what he can do right here. I mean... Sherbrooke, they're not going away, and this line can drag them back into the hockey game. And Perron, terrific shot. Puck turned over along the half wall. They come up high. Everybody's looking at Anstill, and 
What a shot by Perron. Barred out. Momentum in their court. Yep. And there's a glimpse over the last two or three minutes what Sherbrooke can bring. There's a shot right off in front. A little crease crowding down low. Another opportunity by the Phoenix. The Anscom tries to rim it around on that low glove side. Now again swept at off the leggings of the goaltender. This one crease chaos off in front as the net has been relocated as the Phoenix almost put up back-to-back -back goals. The ice has been tilted in their favor. Uh, 100%. And the Islanders take a penalty, and now all of a sudden, Sherbrooke to the power play here with 5.23 to go in the second period. So we'll see if they can capitalize on this. And, and for Sherbrooke, I mean, it's shift by shift, right? You're down six. You're not, you can't score seven in a shift. You just can't. But you can feel good about your game and get back into it. From the faceoff. Again, along the board side, right wing. It's pride loose. Short hand of the Phoenix now. Rollins, oh my goodness, big league hit there by Noah Lowen. As it's Rollins, he was crushed to the ice. I didn't know if he knew where he was when he was skating back to the bench. It looked like it went right at Lowen, but he's a big Whoa, body. He's, there's an old time. He's been met with a couple yeah. of big checks here. I mean, no matter the energy in the tank, right? Yep. Being able to make a push. From that point, there's a shot by Spot check, backhand shot, two save made, paid perfect down low. And it's going to be a lightning leg save made by LaPena as he was sharp on that one. That's not an easy save to make. Here's Watt. This one ripped around now, taking a slice at it as Watt doesn't get it out. There's Lowen steps in, fires at that one off the leggings of the goaltender. Rebound up top. Pujol looks. There's a shot up top. Cormier looking for a second of the game. There's a shot, another one. Oh, Pujol's got the stand. Let's see. He's got the hand up. But uh, Jigalov, the down low official, right in back of the net. They will review it. Jigalov will take a chance here to see it in, under review. Right, uh, it was in the blue at one point, and it does shift around to come to the stick side of the goaltender. And he's trying to recover, and, you know, it pings off the, it pings off the glove side post of Jigalov and back into his glove. Now the ship charges in for the Phoenix. He stepped into there. Crunched off the end boards by Cormier. Wall papered along the wall as well, though. Mians come off that right wing. Here's Horth. He wards off. One hand shot. Five hole save made. Coming across from Block on the left side to the top of the goal. A lot of scouts in town here tonight. And Michael Horth is a guy they have circled on their, their radars here. What type of player is he going to be? And I mean, his three last year steps in. Big body can skate, has some strength. And right there shows some skill. There's a shot. Scores! Ben Boyd! Takes a look and then buries it stick side. It was there for the taking, and he doesn't miss it. Ivan Zhigalov to the stick side at the 8.48 mark. And Ben Boyd with his first goal of the playoffs, giving the Islanders a 7-1 lead. Yeah, that's a big one for Ben Boyd. He certainly is. close to two months with an injury. He's battled to come back and play. And you can expect a big pushback game tomorrow night by Sherbrooke. They beat the Islanders twice this season, two for two in the regular season. Caught by surprise a bit tonight. Mianscom back in again. There's a shot. Scores! Mianscom, he finally controls it. And when he does get it to sit in the stick, he goes far down high to the glove side on Frankie LaPena. With uh, 106 left here in regulation time. Mianscom will give the 